my name is Jennifer and welcome back to part 15 of Runaway Teen in the City. I had them sleep through the night. They're mostly rested, but uh, I figured we would get them going before the day got away from them. And he's having some breakfast. I'm hoping she's going to learn how to make Dango and uh, Dimitri's pretty filthy. Oh, she did learn how to make it now. So she also needs to take a shower, but I... Dimitri was more filthy than she was, so I thought I would set him off first. And I guess she can come clean up once she's finished going to the bathroom. Now, I am going to have Dimitri work on... Right. And he can go to the bathroom when he finishes showering. And then he needs to have something to eat. Uh, hopefully there's something in the fridge that looks empty. She can, he can have some eggs and toast. I did just breed the frogs. And we have dragon fruit, so we don't need to keep these. We will sell them for the money. And this is the, can I sell this? No, this is the, he's got two of them and we put one out. Can I sell it now that it's been out on the counter? No, you still can't sell it. Perhaps if I went into build mode I could sell it. I haven't tried that, obviously. Okay, now I have her watching some TV because I want her to paint, but I prefer her to be um, inspired from a shower before she paints. So now she can go take a thoughtful shower. I think I'm going to have him come eat and watch the cooking channel while he's eating. If he gets up and goes over. Oh, the flea market's in town. Huh. Well, there maybe goes my plans for the day. <laughs> I was planning on having... Maybe I'll have her paint another painting. Finish this. She finished this painting? Yes, yeah, she can resume it. Let's see how many paintings she has. Because maybe she'll go down to the flea market after she paints and try and sell. We're going to sell this poster for 200 simoleons. She has three. Well, she has actually enough paintings already. I think I'll let her finish that one painting and hopefully it will be excellent because she needs to complete 10 excellent paintings and then she would get, she'll would get she get the points. 500 points for doing that. And I bet you this is a call asking him to go to the festival. I hear you're not too good at haggling. Why don't you let me take you to the flea market and show you how a pro gets a great price? Hmm. Uh, okay. And of course we will bring Andy with us. I don't think it'll do anything because it's in our neighborhood. So all we have to do is have him go haggle with the vendor and we'll have him do that. And after he's done doing that, and I'm pretty sure the, no, actually it's the romance festival and spice festival that has plants. As I was going to say, he has a, he can go harvest some plants. I don't think he can. So he's done with that. So we are going to take ourselves out to the flea market and try and haggle. Oh, there it is. Haggle. Finally. We won't bother trying to introduce ourselves. We'll just try and haggle first and see. I wonder if that has to be successful or if just haggling will do it. She is painting like I asked her to do. Oh, she's having an unpleasant conversation. Why is it unpleasant? Maybe we should try and do some, turn it around and make it more pleasant. We can ask, we can do a knock knock joke. Complain about everything. You can flatter. Oh, he got he got his bargain. I don't know what he's gonna buy. We already have one of these, but it is only twenty five, so we'll buy that. So you, young man, are um, gonna go back up here. Now he's flirty from being his romantic trait. So we're going to have him go back to doing what I said we were gonna have him do, which was. Browse Simpedia and practice programming. That's what we're going to have him do. And let's check in on Andy and how is she doing with her painting. I was going to have Dimitri do the street sale, but since I really would like him to get his programming up and to try and hack his grades again once he is able to, I figure. So she did, that was excellent. And 2,000 simoleons, very good. So we will put that in her inventory. She is level 8 of 10, and she has to do masterpieces. 
So I think, where is it late enough in the day that she can call? I think it might have to be after three o'clock that, oh, she can take a vacation day. So she has three vacation days, so I'm going to have her take, she does, she's already an A student because she hacked her grades and got up to an A. So I don't really see the need of her going to school. There's no benefit. And we're just going to keep keep them teens so that we can hopefully get Dimitri up to a B. But we'll see how it's going. If he fails at hacking when he gets a chance to do it again and he goes down another grade, then we'll probably just have them age up sooner rather than later. Because uh, there's no difference between, as I said in the last part, there's no difference between F, D, and C. But the disadvantage is that he will be embarrassed from uh, doing the hacking. So I'm going to take her back. Well, not back. I'm going to take her out. I get my bearings properly. Why don't we look for a snow globe? Because that's there. And grab a poster because they can be worth a decent amount. And is there, she, can she just wall, use the wall here? Maybe, maybe, maybe skip these things. We're just going to go view inventory. And we will figure out, I will be back after I check the paintings and figure out which ones I want to put on the wall. I've started the street sale. I put most of her paintings on there. I might have been able to actually put them all on there. But uh, anyways, I marked the prices up by 100%. And I can never remember where she is on her social, popularity, friend of the world aspiration. She needs to have 12 friends. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I actually meant to go and minimize that and get that out of the way. So she just, I think maybe just became friends with him. I'm not sure. Can we do this? Can we try and... Well, why don't we ask about career? That's not really what I was looking for. But I have seen sometimes there's the option of trying to uh, sell. But I'm not seeing that option. He's a criminal. He must change his... He must be one that's not assigned and just randomly gives him a job. Um, we do know his traits already, so we don't really need to... So he's active, cheerful, and creative. <laughs> Can we do a sale to someone else? He doesn't seem very interested. We'll do a cheerful introduction to... And Akito Watanabe, I think. That's how you pronounce it. He's an insider, slob, and clumsy. Ask about day. Cheerful introduction to the evil Malcolm Landgrab. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, I think Malcolm bought a painting. I didn't see how much, but he's evil and a snob. I forgot he was a snob. I just always remember that he's evil. <laughs> Oh, we have sold another painting. I'm looking away every time so I don't see the amounts we're getting. But that wasn't that much because I think we were at six something and now we're at 7,700. So it's still good, you know. We have a much healthier bank balance than we did before. Oops, Mal Malcolm has to go to the bathroom. You can leave. How, oh, Dimitri's energized. Yeah, the lot trait, the fast internet makes them energized when they really, they need to either be focused or inspired is what they really need to be. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to try and click back on him. Oh, we sold another painting for 3,712, which I meant to do before, is we have some club perks. So he's already getting a boost from the, cl the lot trait of fast internet to his programming, but why don't we boost it even more by uh, buying the trait for that? And I'm going to just boost the charisma. I would have done that first if I'd been thinking, but we had enough points to do both of them, so that's fine. I think at this point the uh, programming is more important in hopes that... And we'll go down. Uh, I don't know how much time is left for the street sale. 51 minutes. 
Oh, Malcolm bought a painting. Thank you. We do already know Haran, but we are not friends or anything near close to that. Ask about career. So what do we have left? We have one for 2,000. 4,000. Maybe we can do a cheerful introduction to Nancy Landgrab. Discuss. Talk about cooking. Oh, we sold another painting. Not an expensive one, but still, when you get a 100% markup. Oh, she's angry. That's not good. Oh, we sold another painting. We're doing really well. She wants to propose a crazy scheme. Can we do that? Uh, propose a crazy scheme? So we haven't sold our most expensive painting. I think. We Look at that. We have 18,000. We started the day with 3,000. I think maybe things sell quicker at the uh, flea market. Oh, it's done. So we're going to view inventory again. We have this one other painting. We'll put that in there. We'll uh, stock table. If she can. Okay, maybe we need to stop tending the table. Oh, they go behind. Oh, they look the same. And then we're going to tend the table again. We'll keep the prices where they are, and it's game night. Hopefully that didn't. Oh, we sold the painting we just put out. I'm not sure what that's for. Is she doing the street sale? Start street sale. So someone sold, okay. Someone bought that painting even though I didn't actually have a street sale going on. I didn't know that could happen. And there's our painting. Done. All our paintings are gone. I think we need to end this street sale because we have nothing to sell. <laughs> so we're done. She had a very, very successful day because we are now at 29,000. I think we started around 3,000. I don't know if it was high threes, but it doesn't matter. It was a lot of money. So we're going to have her go back up at home. Someone was just about to do something not so nice. And... Uh, that's pretty. Oh, she's hungry. You know what? I'm not going to have her go home. I'm going to have her order some food. I don't know what recipes she's learned. What What are these? We have hot food. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm going to pause and look at what recipe she knows and uh, come back when I figure that out. I checked what Andy knows how to make and she doesn't know how to make any of these dishes. So I'm going to just start with the first one which I cannot pronounce, the pow, pow, and have her start with that. She already does know how to order, order, she, she knows how to order food. She knows how to do samosa and bel pari, and she doesn't know how to do the curry yet, but I figured we would try her on that. And she's getting very hungry here. So who knows, we might have her order a couple of things, and she can learn a couple of dishes. It depends on how full she gets after her first dish. Now we're still trying to, um, we should check these frogs. Maybe I did just do that. Because they're not ready to be bred. Genius, family oriented, and neat. I have the observant trait, which is why I'm able to learn their traits so quickly. Or she has the observant trait, which is why she's able to learn it so quickly. Is there anyone else we can introduce ourselves to? She needs to have five more friends. Yes, we became friends with... Oh! He's lazy, slob, and cheerful. And for some reason we didn't become friends with him. Oh yes, we did. It was just a bit of a lag in recognizing it. Cheerful introduction to Masami Ishikawa. We already know Lily. Bang. Festival will end in an hour. And Dimitri, I guess he did come down and buy something. Wonder where he is in his programming skill, out of curiosity. He's only level three. Cheerful, glutton, and mean is. Uh, 
Masami? I think we... Oh, we... we... Oops, there's an alarm. <laughs> Turn that alarm off. So she learned how to make that, and is she still hungry? Not very. So even though Andy's not very hungry, I thought I would have her order something else, and we'll just take it and put it in the fridge at home so she can eat it later and learn how to make it at a later date, a later time. Now, he still, his fun is luckily going up. Is he still programming? Yes, he is. I'm just going to see how long he's been programming for, which we it does track the first five hours under the computer whiz aspiration. He's been doing it for five, more than five hours. And of course, I didn't buy that boost right away. She's only at three, and I know that that's high enough. So, did she put the food in her inventory? Why do we do a cheerful introduction? For Raj. And have her continue to work on having the friends, and she's at level seven of charisma. There's about meal. I'm just looking if there's anyone here. We don't know, other than the vendors. We don't know the performer, Yumiko Sakamoto. So let's try and introduce herself to her. She only needs two more friends. And we don't know Lester. I think Ke Keeling it was his name? I didn't quite catch it. And we're friends. And we're already friends with Masami. Do we know Dennis Kim? We do not. Let's try and introduce ourselves to Dennis and knock that 20 friends off. Gonna get lots of those messages about us becoming friends. Oh, he's closing up. <laughs> Let's hope that. And he's opening up again. That was a quick <laughs> quick close. That's a different vendor, I Is it? I don't know. Maybe it's not. No. So did we get that? No, we didn't. Brighton Day. For some reason, that didn't trigger us being friends with him right away. Normally it does. With the fact that we're in the... Uh, the club and we have the incredibly friendly trait oh she's going so i don't know people are saying goodbye that's fine everybody's saying goodbye oh well i thought we would be able to get that but we didn't and i don't know if this is a good time to and we already oh we don't know this person i know he has to go to the bathroom i think this is who we tried to introduce ourselves to before and had no luck. Just be nice. There he did it. We knocked that off. So we're going to have her go home. I'm going to have Dimitri browse some Pedia game. Browse some Pedia again. In hope that it will. Um, make him. Focused. I just don't know if the focus moodlet will overpower the energized moodlet he gets when he's bra when he's actually programming. He does have the ability to try and hack his school grades again. Now, for some reason that's a club activity, and I don't really know why it's a club activity because it has the the thumbs up with it, and I don't think I have homework as a no, I don't. I, I don't know why that would be considered a club activity. And maybe that was why she hacked her grades. But I don't know why it is even a club activity. Because it's not th something I've ever <laughs> put in the club. So I don't know what of those those options there makes that a club activity. Hmm. Well, fingers crossed it works. And he doesn't go down to an F. More because he'll be embarrassed if it goes down to an F. So we'll be back when he's done with, and we'll have the results because I think it's not very exciting to watch him hack his grades. I decided to cancel the hacking because I realized his needs aren't very great, and I don't know if that has an, any benefit, any, you know, impact. And he also is angry from noisy neighbors, so I think I am going to have him. Uh, go to the bathroom once Andy is done, and then grab something to eat because he's hungry. Let's grab something out of the fridge because it's in here. 
And I think I will have Andy be the one to go and complain to the neighbors. Because she they're both tired. They both need to sleep. So let's go have her pound on the door. And we will turn our music off. Just so that they don't have anything to... They can complain about us making too much noise. Hopefully. She's very, very angry. She wants to be mean to someone from being angry. One thing about living in apartments is they tend to get angry a lot more often because of the noise that you get from the neighbors. I'm surprised they're being so loud given that they probably have a baby because we're in the building that the Vitas are in and she's not pregnant. But we'll do a cheerful introduction <laughs> and hope that she's very angry. And then we are going to hopefully be able to, if we get the option, complain angrily about the noise. I'm sorry, you're right. That was a bit inconsiderate. We'll try to keep the noise down. Thanks for letting us know, good neighbor. It still gives them a negative hit. Well, uh, smooth apology. What is she doing there? Chatting. Did that work? Okay. Alright. We're done. So, with the noise, and the noise is gone. So she can go back to bed. And what is he doing? Oh, he's hacking them on his own. Okay. Well... And they went away, and the computer broke down, so he can't hack it. <laughs> uh, you can go to the bathroom. So essentially, I'll let him take care of his needs. I'm going to uh, breed the frogs. Take two out. This is just my way of not having to move quite so much. Sell them. Let's add to their money. They have enough money they could move to a nicer place than this. But I think we're fine here. This place is reasonable. We're not in a rush to move again. Breed frog with the whirly flower. But it means that they will have enough money to move to a bigger place when they uh, have kids. So that'll be a good thing. So we'll put those back in her inventory. So that's it for this part. We didn't get around to hacking your grades, partially because I, when he, when I set him to do it, I realized his needs weren't very good and I didn't know if that would affect it. And then when he went to try and do it himself, his computer fried. So they'll need to fix that. And uh, so the really, that that's it for this part. We'll have him try and hack his grades next time and hopefully we'll be successful. <laughs> he hasn't even done his homework now that I think about it, but we'll worry about that next time. And uh, so that's it. Leave any comments if you have them down below. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thanks very much for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>